It's great stuff. Look at it. <laughs> it's terrible. Now, I recently got the Aperture Amaran... What's it called? Peace. <laughs> P60X and P60C. I'm gonna do a full video about these in the very near future, so stay tuned. Awesome lights, cannot wait to use them properly. What I was disappointed about was it doesn't come with barn doors and you can't actually buy them for these yet. So that's not great, but all is not lost because you can actually make your own simply using some gaffer tape and this stuff. This is Cinefoil, and basically what Cinefoil is, is a matte black heat resistant foil, and it's used a lot in filmmaking because it's heat resistant, it's really good for putting near lights and it doesn't, you know, set on fire. But as well because it's foil, it's flexible and it can be shaped any way you like, so it can be moulded into barn doors or snoot or cookies even. So it's incredibly versatile and really easy to use. All you have to do is just tear a little bit off, mould it into the shape you want and then gaffer tape it onto your light. But obviously make sure that you're not covering up any air vents in your lights or anything like that. And obviously gaffer tape is better because it doesn't leave a sticky residue and you can get it off easily enough and, and move things about if you need to. And as you can see here, I've made some barn doors and you can position them to wherever you want. And I've also made a snoot type thing as well. But you can make the barn doors for like the panel type lights as well as the Bowens mount sort of more rounded style lights as well. So really versatile stuff. So why do I need barn doors? What's the point? Well, obviously, if you've got a light like this that's really bright, that's going to spread light everywhere, and sometimes you don't want that. For example, if it's shining onto the ceiling, that light is then going to bounce down onto your subject, and we might not want that. Barn doors can help shape and direct that light the way you want it to. And all you need to do is flag that light off from whichever direction and stop that light going from wherever you, you don't want it to be. And then a snoot basically is kind of making almost like a spotlight. So I'm taking... Let me show you. <laughs> it looks awful. It looks awful. It looks terrible, but it does the job. There you go, switch it on. There's a little bit of light coming out of there. And it works. It really does work. Obviously, I can open that hole a little bit wider and get more of a larger spotlight. It's great stuff. Look at it. <laughs> it's terrible. It looks terrible. I mean, probably a little bit more practice making these shapes. It'll look a bit better. But it does the job. That's the whole point. And it's a lot cheaper and a lot more flexible than buying a proper one, for example. So here's like a top flag that I made but it's also reusable. Because it's flexible, you can move it into any other shape you want. So I could take that off, put it on this side, have a side and a top, like that. So you can use it in any way you want. Whereas a normal barn door, you can't do that. There's only so far it can go. But the downside to it is they're not very durable. And if you want a perfect edge or a perfect circle, if you're using it as a snoot, then it's gonna be a little bit trickier to get that. It is funny. <laughs> it is funny. It is, it is, it's quite funny. Cinefoil comes in different sizes. This one is 15 inch by 50 inch roll, I think. Plenty there. And like I say, because it's reusable, I probably won't be using that much. I can use this until it just won't bend anymore. But look how flexible that is. It does stay in position. So you probably don't have to buy as big a roll as you think but you can get longer lengths as well if you need. Let me know what you think to this in the description. Always love to know your thoughts. But just one last thing before you go, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably noticed that I've not been posting as much recently, especially since Christmas. 
but that's because I'm working on an extremely exciting project. Cannot wait to share it with you. Hopefully it'll be done by the end of this month. Basically it's taken a lot of work and there's still a lot more to go. So if I don't post as much throughout January, you know why. But from February onwards, I'm gonna be posting loads more on the channel. So let me know what you want to see. What I'm always interested in what videos you like the most. So leave a comment and I'll look forward to making some more videos for you. Thanks so much for watching, have a great week, and I will see you in the next one.